the facto government of the United States is intent on one, the elimination of the white race. There is going to be those about this battle. There are going to be it's clear that interracial relationships are detrimental to the purity of the white race. What's the man's no. name? James no. Bird. James Bird. When the guys were j dragging James Bird around the street, I want everybody to remember that name. Give him a persona. Know that his head was torn off when they dragged him around. It's a horrible thing. Can I ask a question in, in relationship to James Bird? They showed, after each of the murders of a black, a Jew, or a gay, they showed the kind of internet interaction, the kind of conversations people were doing on chats, and most of them were praising the lone wolf, the murderer who did these things. How did you feel about that? Did you notice it? Did you read the little yeah. internet things? Yeah. You know, like you're yeah. famous, you're wonderful, you're, you know. Yeah. I mean, well, of course, we're not going to agree with it because it affected us you know, monsters. You know, they must have a reason for doing it. I, I don't think that, like, everybody that agrees with it is just crazy. It's, it's got to be a reason why people are doing it, like with Hitler. And he, you know, the whole... Almost everybody in Germany were for the Nazi party. And there has to be like a reason for that. I don't think everybody in Germany was crazy at the time. I just think that there was a specific reason that drives people to, you know, act against other people in such a way. That's each story. But the justifying rights is that they, not they, Pierce, he, he said that, I don't remember exactly what he said, I don't remember saying that, um, I think you said we're animals. And just, <laughs> so, no, because I was, I was yeah. so, <laughs> no, so, so, so then, the other races should be happy for us yeah, because that, we helped them out. Yeah, and then he, he said walked that, around um, naked. And then he called Jewish people parasites. I was like, I, I was just pissed off. But hearing what he said, I'm like, okay, there's a reason why he had to say that. But I, it, I mean, I would really want to know so I could try to see where he's coming from because I can't just like, I've very much just like that person right now. Okay, I hate that person right now. But I don't know where they came from, so that does bother me for the reason why I feel that way. But at the same time, I want to know why, so at least I can say, okay, this is what happens, but I'm not going to judge for my emotions. I know what I feel. Is it easier to know than not to know? Mm -hmm. um, it, it's good to know. It scares me. Ignorance is bliss. There's like certain stuff like. Hearing some of the stuff that I heard, I really didn't want to hear it. Because now I actually have a subconscious about what's actually going on, and it actually makes me feel bad. Yeah, yeah but knowledge is also powerful. You want to know, know. You know why, why to somebody, know. you just don't want to be ignorant to why somebody's acting why somebody's just going on a rampage and killing someone. You just don't want to... I, I want to know why he's doing that. I don't want to just see somebody going on randomly killing someone. 
That's why I wanted to know. I want no, it's that um all these low moves per se that all they do is copy what's being told to them off the internet and from personally I think that like the guys like Pierce, the head guys that start running these things, I don't think they believe all the all the things they say. I think they just say just to have power. It's like this is how it's going to be. This is how it's done. I think that's what Hitler did. He wanted Let me ask that. you this not... question, because that was the next question. How much of them, how much of them do you see in yourself? What do you mean? The people that we just saw on TV. What do you mean? Like hate? How much of them do you see in yourself? I want you to take a moment to think about it. Like majority of the people in the world don't agree with killing, you know, genocide. Majority of the people, but some people do. So if you, you know, if you're form, if you're going along with, you know, majority, like majority of the people may believe that, um, you know, capital punishment is the right thing to do. So of course that's going to be, you know, implemented without, you know, remorse or anything like that. You, you just got basically go along with majority. That's how. I feel. Okay, how hard is it for any of us to convert or revert back to our savage ways if we have a group, if we have a reason, maybe it's easier to kill older people than babies, if we have, you know, maybe easily brainwashed. Only children don't get brainwashed. Lots of people get brainwashed into thinking, you know, my group is superior. And that's why I ask you how much we have inside of us because... If we think we're superior, then we have the capacity to think we're superior to what and to who, okay? If we think we're superior, then are we not capable of, in times of famine, to throw Sister B.C. off the boat? Okay, there could be many reasons. We kept hearing, save the race, save the nation. Hitler used the same thing. You know, save our people. Let the others go. They're not us. They're not us. They're somebody else. They're a different group. They're not black. They're not Chinese. They're not Hispanic. They're not girls. They're not boys. They're not men. They're not women. They're not gay. They're not... Do you know what I'm saying? They're not smart. They're not stupid. They're not sick. They're not... You know, it's, so it's always this other group. If you have a big enough group in a comfort zone, sometimes, I'm not saying this is who we are, but I'm just saying, how do you change something like this. It appears to me you start at home, that you start with the group you move with. They said they need to like wage a holy war, get their guns and everything. Who's to say us black people? Why don't we get our guns and protect ourselves? Like, you come here with a bunch of bombs and stuff. Why can't I? Oh, uh, we got yeah, to go to the library right across town. Because you you act like, like them, numbers. and then you just get into And then you try and persuade and them. And you, know, you try to get them before they attack some with. other building or something like that. I don't like, think maybe they, they might even you. discuss they might So you think, like, like having a, a reasoning no. session with the people who are <laughs> proposing killing all Jews? Blacks and homosexuals you know, having a them before they ever <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I think that even if we took away all the Exactly. I hate Jews too. What's your phone number? One mic, one mic, one mic, please. If we got rid of all the like when you guys talk about censoring and that'll reduce. It'll it might reduce, it might not, but you can't censor people's thought. You can't censor what they learn at home. And a lot of what we watch on TV, what we learn in school, a lot of that promotes the things that are taken in extreme that they're saying. So what do we really need to do? I don't expect that we're going to have a solution, but we should be thinking about things that we can do. I mean, there were some ideas of going on the website and talking about it, censoring the website. You, This is an issue. It's a really an issue that touches all of us because we're the victims of this kind of hate. But at the same time, any issue that you face, anything that you feel is a social injustice, you're looking at the same kind of thing. Do I want to know about it? One. Once I know about it, what can I do about it? Should I forget about it? Should I turn away from it? Or should I respond to it? How can I respond to it? Because it's national and international. Huh? It, 
thousands. What is the, the main internet goal? is like, worse what, than thousands. What we want to do is silence them, is it, or is it? You have to decide what you want to do. Because you have to decide. You have to have a thinking, plan. We're like, we should join those other people that are that are trying to help us, you know, because we want to stop them. Imagine they're thinking the same way towards us. We need yeah. to stop them. It's scary. Yeah, but if you look at something that really Mark scary. said earlier. Mark said, I don't, something's wrong. I don't believe that they were born this way, yeah. you know, et cetera, et cetera. So they're being indoctrinated. If we can't stop the Internet, one of the things they said, black people never invented anything. What's Who's helping on? that? Who's helping that? Who is perpetuating that understanding? Teachers? Teachers don't They're write books. somebody teaching it. Well, they brought up to... Parents. Did they go to the same school as you? They sure did go to the same yeah. school as me. No, I mean their parents. No, my parents didn't teach me that. The no, Board of Education. Education. The Board of Education. When I went to school, nobody told me blacks invented anything. So I can say that with impunity. Blacks had no civilizations. Egypt is not in Africa. Blacks haven't invented anything. So I have ammunition. They've got ammunition for their... For the, they said we were stupid. Blacks were stupid. Their brains are small. Of course, that's not true. But Shockley said it. And they looked at his papers probably and took out that and used it. So what are some of the things that we could do instead of being impotent, instead of being unable to do anything about it? What do you think was meant by that? Why do you think? Because it talks a lot about white people need to stand up. We're being, you know, our, the white culture is being silenced. It's being repressed. It's... You know, it's in danger. I don't, Where do you think that's coming from? I don't think it's a more kid. diversity. What was that? More and, and diverse the, the United States is becoming. It's becoming. It's like more diverse than any other place. And I, I don't. I don't actually know statistics, no, but true. I think it is. So you know, of course, people don't think that if they they used to. I don't want to say rule, but if they were majority of the. You know, and they're starting to notice that it's starting to subside. Their their superiority in numbers starting to subside, then of course they're going to have that fear. And the same way they they're recruit anybody. Right, like, 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 no, how do you find them? Like, if you wanted you to be part of them. You and didn't you give them CDs with uh, underlying racist things. And then you, you have, have to wait for them to come in your area. So, so you can't be like, I want to be part of the group. Well, you go on the internet. You can join on the internet. Can I ask one question? What is good about what they do and what works? I want everybody to think before you answer it, before you jump to what is good about what they do and what works. The hate mongers, the hate groups. What is good about what they do in our own paradigm? We're saying we have a common understanding in this group. What do they do right and what works? What could we learn from them? They get the confused, people are unsure. Do we want to do that? Yeah, you want to, suppose you want to. Yeah, you want to take the people who. Sure, okay. I'm, I'm not saying it's right or wrong, I'm just asking. Do we, do we feel that brainwashing people is something good? I'm asking we you a very pointed them. question. We brainwash each other. We're always so do you want to call that good? Is that something you respect in them? Is it brainwashing or is it educating? So, so, you, can, so you can call them in, so they're educating. Yeah. Yeah, like, what's good about it is they have a close-knit community that they look out for each other, sort of, like, and they're always together. They share the same thing. It's just like a big, fat community. Anything else? So what did you say again? Say it again. They're a community. They're a community. What else? Come on. What's good about them is that regard, like, they seem to get each other's backs. They're very close, and if one objects, they already know how to, like, to, like, Silence them in a way. It's like they have power within themselves, so that's what makes them It's some kind of culture. Okay. They're following a culture. I disagree with what Stephanie says because even they said that they work in cells, that they have like different, it's like groups of probably like groups of us, just a bunch of different ones. So this way, if one goes down, somebody just comes in, picks up the side. Right. But Wait, that's but they're groups. That's, I'm not saying that. Like, Right now, we tend to like all want one thing. We want to do change, right, in a way. And we're here to be future leaders. Then it's like the same thing. They're close. They all have one. They know what they want, and they know what they're, how they're going to get it. And they're like this. Like communities tend to live together because they feel more comfortable. They're like, they're like brother and sister. Like that. That's 
I'm saying that it's good for them, the unity that they have among themselves, because then it brings them higher. No one is going to be left in the dust doubted. If one is like, okay, I don't understand what they're doing, then that's going to make them weak, right? They need all to be powerful, and then they all rise up, and then that's... Right, the that's why I'm disagreeing with you, because I think if one starts to doubt, they're just they going to drop them. Them. They they're might not even drop kill them. them. They won't... They'll, They'll just keep on them. working on them while they keep on rising, because there might be one out of I don't even know how many that will doubt or something because they can't. Be but even if they doubt it, um, even if they doubt it, what is working? Not what is not working. Want to hear what's working? What? Okay. What can we learn from them? They are very successful. Are they? Do we agree they're successful? Yes. Oh, yes. That they recruit. Yes. That they take action. Yes. Okay. What can we learn from them? We could learn to take action ourselves. Why? Because it's working. I'm not talking, no, I'm, I'm not talking about against or for. Because? Because they're working in the thousands. They're so successful that we could do the same thing. We could work in the thousands. And how do they work in the thousands? What, what do they do? What is, what is the methodology that they use, whether we like it or not? They have books up. Patience. They have books. Books of what? See. Books on their stuff. And, and what does that do for them? It like influences, it yeah, inspires them. them. It educates, influences, and inspires, yeah. okay? So they educate, influence, and inspire each other to do what they believe. They have patience. They have CDs. They have patience. They have CDs, CDs that add CDs. to their education. And then what do they do with all of this? They no, what do they do? They encourage. They encourage. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're almost there, we're almost there. Come on, come on, come on. They give you idols. No, no. What do they do? Come on, come on. You, you know you got it. <laughs> I mean, give it to kids. They get guns. Kids, they You say it. They put it in mass production. They act. They do something about it. Okay. They find a reason. They educate each other. They, even if it's lies. They use a method. They're organized. They inspire and encourage. They have CDs. They have books. They have internet. They have a network. They have cells. I mean, and then they do something about something they believe. No, I don't want to say what they do because that's not what's good about it. My question was very carefully asked. What could you learn from them? They found a problem. They responded in a way that they could understand the problem in their own way, even if they lied and then they took action. Okay. So when we think about what we can do about problems, about things we don't like, it needs those same steps. They didn't invent anything new. If they're growing stronger than people who are good, it's because people who are good aren't doing anything about the problems, maybe. It's just easier to stick your head in the sand. We're almost finished. I think it's also because the people that are doing like the right thing and the good thing to do, they're trying to convert the people that already got into it. And, well, they're just getting whoever's unsure. Like they were talking about before, how, oh, they're unsure, let's get them before they decide to go to the other side. They don't care. If, you're, if you already have an opinion, fine, whatever they say, okay, go ahead, have your opinion, we're going to get this guy over here that's standing alone who doesn't know what he wants. Because when they were talking to, um, about, uh, what was his name, Matthew, I think, they were, his friend was described being him as having a hole, and he started looking on the internet. He found this stuff. He's like, oh, okay. They make sense. I'm going to go join them. Okay. Can we think of one thing we could do, even if we can't do it? Let's decide on one thing we could do about this, even if we can't do it. Get a lot Good of people together. Get advertised. Does it have to be a good suggestion? Get Mia, Mia attention, because you know. She wants to kill. Um, how? How do you do Okay, one mic. We could get the media attention because like, try to create controversy just as just as they do it too. I'm just trying to do that. Get okay. yeah, a lot of people to support your idea because they have a whole bunch of people in every other state. They Which idea? Next door neighbor. Which idea? Is that? The idea to go up against them. Get people to support you. All these races, Jews, Hispanics, we all need to get together some way, somehow, get our differences out of the way, and beat these people that are trying to fight and Beat eliminate. them? Physically? No. That's why... You guys take every word that I say and twist it, and I don't like that. Ask me if you don't understand what I'm saying. I yeah. did ask you. Like, beat them... Well, yeah, exactly. But beat them up with violence, but yes. Thank you. Yes. 
Anybody else? Anybody else? What can we do? Come on, come on, guys. There's nine of you here. What else? We can brainwash them. We can do what? Lock them up in rooms. We can brainwash them. Okay. Okay. Mark? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Like limiting their their power, which is they're able to, like she like Haley said, they were able to have free voice, free range to say what it is that they're preaching. You know, they have free right to say it. So maybe limiting what can be said, like filtering out in sort of a way where it's not. Adenike. Um, I just think. If, okay, as um, as um, they're doing oh, they're putting that stuff on the internet. Then all that we are opposing, we can put our, t- our our own things on the internet to to oppose them that they are wrong, they are, they are wrong and we are right. So if there is another person that is as an undetermined, so he can see both ways and see the one that is good for him or ah. Uh, no. Okay. Camilla. I would try to um, create a dialogue between the people that are like me and the people that are like me and the people that are like me and the people that are like me drill them and see what they think why they think this way when they realize that they're wrong then that one person could probably change it and change somebody else and somebody else change somebody else mm-hmm. all I can do but what if they make you realize you're wrong Huh. Like, nobody can yeah. tell me I'm wrong. If so you can't tell them you're wrong. No, no can, that's her opinion. No, don't think that you're wrong. Like, wait, what am I doing? Then you're going to be like, wait. You're okay, so they could do the same thing to you. They could trick you into thinking you're wrong. Uh, but if she's very strong in what she thinks and she's talking to people who are unsure, but there is, who are oh, considering okay. getting into it. That's the Stanley? Um, maybe, let's see. You could, like, limit the states. Like, you know, keep them in... Like one or two states. <laughs> <laughs> They're also uh, yeah, I'm for that. Lock them up, right? In the state. They're not no, it's not. It's not. They're no, not locked not up. Each other, right? No, it's no, like they're not locked up. Reservation. They have the free, they have the rights to do whatever they want, but in the in the reservation states that we put them here. Is there anyone who hasn't voiced their no, opinion? Not, Okay, we're having fun, but we're supposed to be serious now about what we can possibly. What I would do is I would push. I would definitely. I think it's something also that we could add to our list. Um, insist that the educational system in this country reform and begin to depict people of different cultures in positive ways, along with the media. Um, because a lot of their ammunition that would take away all their ammunition. In terms of, well, we can't teach that anymore because it's a lie. Nobody wants to teach a lie intentionally. Okay, so it's the kind of thing where people just don't know enough about other cultures, especially in some of these isolated. That's why it was so funny to lock them up in two states. So, you know, I think everything that everybody said is valid, and I think we're going to look at some of those ideas and see what we can do. But you shouldn't feel impotent. You shouldn't feel that you can't do anything. You shouldn't feel depressed about it that you're afraid, okay? Because you can't live life afraid. It doesn't, it's non-productive. You know, you know like you have a culture and you're supposed to like your culture. So how you can that? live life and say, oh, I hate them. So you go every that, morning, though? you smile, you, you really, you truly feel happy. Like, you know what I mean, right? Like, yeah. They work with you. They no, I, don't, I don't know what you mean because I don't see how hating, how being proud of who you are means necessarily you have to hate everybody else. Exactly. So I, want you said, to, I think that what she's saying is because you said that they're business people outside of that, so how could they smile? And then let's say they're a doctor, or could you hate guys? Uh, and then they say a black person bleeding into that. Yeah, they're going to be like, like help me help you. Everybody has an isolated community. I think it would be great if we get like a van and go across country. Oh, that's uh, 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 get found in the bottom of a river or whatever. I know. I, know. I, know. I think that we should um, show both sides. Like, instead of just showing, oh, this is the view of what they're doing is wrong, show why they do what they do. Because then people have a choice to believe they want to believe. And mostly what I take from this is that since people don't have a choice of what they want to believe and they feel that they're being backed into a corner if you give them a choice then more people okay if they choose it they choose it 
but then that also takes away some of the ammunition of saying, you don't have a choice, you have to fight back. When you have a choice, you can talk about it now. All right, so um, any final comments before we close down on hate crimes? Anything? Okay. Um, no, I'm just trying to, because I saw this documentary, which I'm trying to get for you guys, but I can't find it. Um, and I feel like going on the documentary that I saw, and like, a lot of what Malcolm X talked about at the very end of his book is coalition building, and how if white people who are aware of the detrimental effects that other white people are having, and if black people who are aware of certain things, and if each group could kind of work internally and then build together. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not, it might not be your responsibility to go to Iowa and kind of address this, but is it my responsibility? Even though they probably wouldn't view me as white either. But and if we could, like, on many different levels, meet with different groups and, as Sister Beasley said, become part of a huge, massive coalition cross-country. And each local chapter could address the issues that are going on. So it's like there are two sides. I don't I just want bombing. So what would you say?